What is up, you guys? It is your boy, John, here from Puma Plow, and I've got something a little bit different and really awesome for you today. I am joined by Miss Stephanie Marie. Hey, guys. And Mr. Nubius. What's up? And today, guys, we are going to be building this. This is a shulker shell farm. Say that five times fast, would you? No, thank you. <laughs> shulker shell. Shul okay. Anyway, guys, we are going to be building this bad boy today to show you guys how to build a shulker farm. It should be pretty awesome, right? It shall. Let's get to it. All right, guys, let's go build this shulker farm. That was good, right? That was good. <laughs> All right, so let's go do this now. Let's see. First one was, uh, I forgot already. We're putting half slabs around our, what is that, 11 by 11? Uh, 9 by 9. The half slabs will make it 11 by 11. There you go. I have my cheat sheet, and I just forgot it. <laughs> That's saying it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be real fun to do this. And we're gonna be taking some of these half slabs out as well. Yes, we are gonna be taking out. Uh, okay, well, I don't building creative. Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> I hit the wrong buttons for everything. Uh, so we're taking some of them out to put powered rail whoop, on top of the green blocks here, because you know you need to power the minecart as it goes around. So the rest of these will be regular rail. And over here will be hoppers here in just a second. Ah. It's a thing. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see, that one needs to be, okay, yep, the chest will go here. Double chest. Uh, you really don't need more storage than that. If you do, then... Um, Holy cow. You you have too many shulker shells. Uh, that just means you AFK too much, right? Exactly. Okay, and it will make it across that gap, even though there's no powered rails. It will be just fine, correct? Should correct. Be. Should be. All right, so on top of the rail is going to be a full block all the way around. Oop, not a button. How did the buttons get in my offhand? <laughs> what? <laughs> what was I thinking? I don't even know how that happened. That's uh, very strange. Very, very strange. Okay, so that's actually the killing chamber, correct? Correct. All right, so after you get your green line all the way around above your minecart line, you want to put half slabs on the bottom half of that green line all the way around like Steffi and Nubius are doing currently. I like this. I just stand here and watch. <laughs> I like projects like this, just saying. We're good minions. All right, so under, yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Underneath that would be a hopper line all the way right round. Of course, you want to shift, click, and, well, space bar, because we're in creative, so that they will face into each other. Of course. Whoa, not that one. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, so hopper line all the way around. So that is actually the killing collecting area right there. Uh, and one thing I think we forgot to mention is the yes. uh, the powered line. Yes. We need to power that, and one way to power that is with a uh, lever. Lever on the bottom. Yep, lever on the bottom. Yes. And then you will need to put buttons on their side. You need to put what on? Buttons. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, do we need any pumpkins? No, no pumpkins. So next I would say let's do the inside wall here real fast. So we go... Uh, technically that block doesn't need to be there, right? That block there? No. We can just go align all the way around. And that needs to be a total of three tall. Total of three tall. And you can build this, by the way, in uh, survival mode. We just chose to do it in creative because we're like, we're high. We're over 200 <laughs> blocks up in the world. Uh, total here. Okay, so in front of the half slab is a full block, of, not there, a full block there. And it's very nice having the uh, image that we got earlier. Just saying. Just saying. Okay, full block all the way right around. Make it basically the uh, collection channel is what I would call that, you know? That's kind of what that could be, right? Yes. Okay, and then in front of that, we'll get two half slabbers all the way right round. 
two half slabs. Of course, you guys, you can build this out of any block that you want, any half slab that you want. It is very important that you use half slabs, though. Very, very important that you actually do use half slabs. Yeah, you don't want the shulkers spawning on this area. Yeah, because that'll be bad. That'll be really bad. And this shulker farm is not technically AFKable, but it is. It's not supposed to be, but it totally is. All right, so you want to leave this spot open here so that you can get to your chest, of course. However, something will spawn there. So just throw in some glass panes, and you will be good to go. So after the double ring of half slabs, we're going back with a full block here. And uh, all the way... Oh, it's raining! No! No, I bet that rain clears up in just a second. Oh, wow, look at that magic! Wow. That was good. <laughs> right? And this is going to be a total of three tall. Oh my god, the building in creative is just not my thing today. I'm going to build it the old way. <laughs> Get on top and just, oh my gosh. Seriously, buttons in the offhand, that just doesn't work. Alright, three tall all the way right around here. And this just gives you a place to stand on the inside. Uh, basically, this is safety railing. You could, in theory, leave this open, couldn't you? You wouldn't have to have this, necessarily. Yeah, you wouldn't. No. Yeah. And yeah. actually, we want to take it four tall, not three tall. You want to go four tall? Yep. You're right, that is four tall in the picture. Okay. Four tall it is. Oh, my goodness. I should have had y'all record, because your angles would have been not so uh, misplacy like <laughs> mine. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> yeah. And we are going to leave an opening on this side here with the chest in it, and we'll make a, basically a landing platform uh, because the only way to get here will be to teleport or to uh, fly within Elytra, which we don't have yet, but we will very soon. Actually, by the time this video comes out, we will have it on this world. So the next step here is to uh, put up some towers here, I would say, on the corners. And we want to go up, uh, I think, three tall. And I only did that first one, too. But we're going to go three tall in the corners. And then it's time for glass. Lots and lots of glass. We're going to use orange glass panes. Because why not? It's kind of kind of Puma Plow-y colors, right? Yes. Very uh, orange and green and funness. Oh, not on the bottom, uh... Whoever was doing that. Was that Nubius? Who was that? I just I'm That's punching, Nubius. punching blocks out. There we go. Yeah, we want to leave our bottom open, and that'll come in handy here in just a second. And I didn't actually bring any with me. Uh, I have some. It's creative mode. Of course, I can get some. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're, the next step would be snow. Lots and lots of snow. And you might be saying, why snow? Well, it's important, right? Basically, the Shulkers are going to spawn right here on this block that I'm looking at, and you don't want them to be able to shoot you because it hurts, and they'll send you flying. So the next step, Steffi is going to lay in some snow, and we're thinking, what is that, five? Five layers. Yeah, we're thinking five layers of snow is going to be right where we want to be, and uh, that will go all the way right around... All right, so next step, you don't really have to do these in this order, but it's time to button things. And when I say button things... You want to button everything. Everything that you can. You want to go ahead and place a button on, because... Oh, hi, Stevie. Hello. <laughs> these are spawnable areas for a shulker, and you do not want them to spawn out here, because if they spawn out here, you will not collect the, uh, the things, and they will kill you. So... Basically, we're telling the shulkers where to spawn. Yeah, by putting buttons on everything. So if it's not a half slab, or if it's not glass or snow, you need a button on it. And you cannot forget the bottoms and the outsides. Yep. And this Because they will teleport there as well. Yeah, definitely a reason why we're doing this uh, in creative mode. It makes doing the outsides a whole lot easier with the buttons. Saying. Yeah, if you do this in survival, you want to make sure you have a uh, nice little platform to walk on. Yeah, some safety railing, scaffolding, whatever you would like to call it. 
definitely need some safety stuff going on. So buttons for days, I couldn't tell you how many, it's a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and use our uh, quartz half slab, right? Bomb that on top of here. I think the, the white of the quartz and the green look really, uh, really good together. They, yeah, they look very crisp. Yeah, it's very fresh together. And like I said before, definitely important you use the half slabs because we don't want them to spawn out here as well. There's only going to be one row of blocks that they can actually spawn on. And that is inside of our killing chamber. So. Definitely want to be careful with that. And we'll put some lighting in this as well because we don't want other mobs spawning in here. Although it's half slab, so will mobs spawn in there? No, they shouldn't. But we're going to put lighting in anyway. Because light, lights are our friends. Of course. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want to be able to see too. Exactly. Now, I think the center, you could put half slabs across, but we're going to leave the center actually open. Because we want the... We just, we would just want to. <laughs> Alright, so we'll continue the half slabbing. And Steffi, I will come down in just a minute and show off. I see you're working on the bottom side. On, uh, like, buttons and stuff, I assume? Yes. Finishing the buttons on the bottom. Alright. Okay... So this is the second shulker farm that we have actually built uh, since we're in our new Minecraft server now. We built one in our first server, but now we are building one in our second server. It's very cool. Uh, what did I do with the lighting? Sea lanterns I, is what I think we're going to go with, because why not, right? Because they're beautiful. Nubius, if you want to punch all the holes, I will uh, place. Because you can count better. <laughs> right? Sounds good, right? Okay. Sounds legit. And okay. you want to make sure to put half slabs on top of your lighting as well because, of course, the sea lantern is a full block and you don't want shulkers to spawn on top of them. So definitely bring in the half slabs. So this will be nice on the inside here. All nice and lit up. It'll be lit, as the kids say. Right? Kids say that. Yeah, they still do. Okay. It's unfortunate, but uh, it's those pesky kids and their sayings. And, you know, with their fidget spinners, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so lighting is done. And uh, Steffi's down there removing all of our iron blocks. Guys, all the iron blocks are temporary placeholders just to give us a place to stand more than anything. Right? Yes. Especially if you were building this in survival. And you can notice on all these green blocks down here, Steffi has put buttons on both sides and the entire bottom. I didn't even think about doing the bottom. Yeah. The entire bottom of everything. And actually, like, right here on the on this block here, she put one on the bottom and there's one there. So that counts as the side. So it is good to go, it looks like, now. Uh, we do need ourselves a minecart with a hopper in it. Yep, and I'm just checking to make sure that all the powered rail are turned on. Okay, that's that'd be a good thing good. to check, yeah. Okay, Nubius just spawned us a minecart with a hopper in it once we get it going roundy round, which might be a chore actually. <laughs> 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 we didn't leave we didn't leave enough space in there to uh to push it, did we? No, we didn't. <laughs> I remember this was a chore the last time I, too. Yes. I say you're gonna have to punch out probably a block or two, huh? Spawn yep. it in front, and then there you go. All right. Oh. Oops, wrong. <laughs> so minecart going hopper. around and around now. Let's see. Is this high enough, or do we want this one higher? I think we want our thing like there, right? Or do we want it down? I don't think it matters, does it? The spawner itself. Um, I think we want it a little bit higher, actually. Like the next block up, then? On top of that, okay. yeah. Okay, so there's a handy-dandy command that's down in the description below to give yourself a spawner. If you're doing this on a server, you have to be 
a mod or OP, whatever you want to call it. And you will also need a shulker spawn egg that, of course, you can get in creative um, if you're OP on a server or if you're in single player. It's, you know, no big deal to do that either, right? Right. All right, so we're going to place down our spawner, which is a pig spawner at first, which actually, it'll be amusing. Will they spawn or not? I don't think so. Uh, hold they... off on putting the shulker in. Uh-oh, what's up? We're double-checking all of the button placements. Okay. And not all of them were placed. Oh. That, that is a very very important thing you should probably do before you. Uh, yes, precisely. Definitely make sure. We'll soon figure out where your buttons aren't placed, though. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you will, because you will have shulkers spawning everywhere. Yes. Okay, so oh, but I just found another button myself that's not placed. Uh, button, stone, button. Okay, there's one there. So yeah, it's very important to check even like the insides of the doorway here. Very important to, to look it all over. It looks really silly, honestly. The whole build looks silly with all the buttons on the outside. It reminds me of like that, that candy back in the day that was on the paper, you know, the little dots. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I never... I don't think I ever ate those. Those stuff, were disgusting, but, but those were fun. I say. So these blocks out here are temporary, guys, so they will be going away. It's just a place for us to stand. That's all. Uh, okay, are we ready? We put buttons on those real quick, too. Okay. <laughs> you might as well, actually. <laughs> you might as well. We, we don't want them spawning out here. That's true, because they will. They will jump. That is the thing with the shulker. They're little, little tricksters. They like to teleport. And right. they'll teleport anywhere they can. Yes, they will. So the minecart's going round and round. That will collect any shulkers that are on the full block. And it'll dump them off into our hoppers, which will go to our chest. And are we ready? I think we're ready. All right. So we're going to place the shulker in there. Did that not take? There we go. For some reason, they take twice here recently, and I don't know why. And then we're actually going to destroy the block underneath, and then we're going to cover this bad boy in glass. Because they will not stick to glass. So go away, Shulker. Go away. Oh. <laughs> that, that one doesn't want to teleport. Go away. Go away. Do we need a sword? <laughs> We're all just like spammed like in this Shulker. <laughs> oh, goodness. Look at all of them. Oh, another one just spawned. So as soon as you kill that one, I'm... Okay. So it's all surrounded in glass now, so they will spawn... But there's nowhere for them to grab onto, basically, so they teleport inside, is the theory. So, hopefully one will spawn here, maybe. Shulker, there we go. See them all spawn and teleport? Oh, and I already see a place that we forgot a button. Uh-oh, did we? <laughs> oh. We don't want um, them to spawn there. No, no, see, we don't. <laughs> like I said, guys, you, you'll soon find places where there you need... Yeah. Definitely Buttons. will find. Do we need? Okay, I got gotcha. you. I got it. Okay. So as soon as we get that guy killed, there you go. And put the button in real fast. All right, so what they're going to do is they're going to spawn right here. And why aren't they shooting each other? Uh, I think because we're in creative mode. <laughs> okay, so let's do not that. All right, so we've teleported ourselves into survival now. And they will shoot each other. Now you could come in here and you know, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch you, la da da da, da with a looting sword, let's say, maybe, right? Right. And you could punch them like crazy. However, it's not really necessary. They will fight each other and kill each other and give you their shells, right? Yeah. That's... So this is AFKable and uh, XP. <laughs> We've already got three. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if you want the XP, of course, you can come in here and you can run around and just. You know, with a good looting diamond sword and, and merc them. And, you know, you get the shells and you get their XP. But if you want to AFK this, they will murder each other. And this thing does quite well, honestly, on the... There's a shulker right there. And the minecart just took it and it'll end up over here in the chest. But this thing does quite well on its spawn rate. It's, it's pretty efficient as far as I'm concerned. Up to seven or... Up to seven or eight... <laughs> That's awesome. Nine. I'm in creative. I was going to, or I'm in survival. I was going to go jump off the edge of the world out here. <laughs> Glad I didn't do that. Yes. So here you can see them, guys. They're spawning like crazy. And uh, the minecart going round and round. 
And the only other thing that I'm going to do here real fast, I'm going to punch these off real fast. I don't want it there. I want it down here. No, I can't do that. Okay. So what I'm going to do real fast here, guys, is I'm going to build just a little landing platform out of glass because they will not spawn on glass. So that is kind of nice. So like right here, we can punch that out, but put a block in there and then they won't, uh, they won't spawn theirs either. So all good there. So basically, guys, just a little uh, glass landing platform here for when we fly in with our shulkers. It will just, or not our shulkers, our leeches. Okay. So there we go. Little platform. If we wanted to, we could throw a couple torches on here to make it easier to find as we're flying to it. It kind of is like uh, the tongue of the mouth of the build or something. It looks weird from out here. Just saying. It looks kind of <laughs> strange, doesn't it? Just a little. So, but you guys can see as long as you're close enough to activate the spawner, it we're up to 15 already. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Of course, it does take two shells to build a shulker box with a chest in the center and you're good to go. You can see they just fight each other like crazy. Just stand in a corner, build yourself an AFK room, whatever you want to do, as long as you're close enough to make it spawn. And uh, you will be good to go, right? Yeah. Think about how many you get with the looting. Yeah, if you wanted to, yeah. Like I said, you could stand in here and loot loot them all day as well. Or you can have a bunch of people. Put, you know, a couple people per side and just go crazy. And they all get collected and end up in your chest over here. So... And the snow part is very important because half slabs, they'll be able to shoot you. Yes. But the snow makes it tall enough that they won't be able to shoot you, but yet leaves you enough gap that you can get a sword in there. Yeah, and you can't use carpet either. Carpet's too low. They'll shoot you with, if you put carpet instead of the snow as well. So we're up to 17 already, guys. I would say job well done. We have ourselves a fully functioning shulker farm. Guys, there you have it. That is one functioning shulker shell farm it's great in a multiplayer server uh, it is a little overpowered honestly but it's fantastic to have in the multiplayer server because you know once you raid the end cities you have to go so far out and so far out and so far out shulkers uh just are hard to get right they're very hard to get they're very hard to get so this is very nice to have something to to give us the shulker shells to uh just just make life a lot faster and easier for us right yeah, especially on a server with as many people as we have, shelter yeah. boxes can. Uh, I think there's 40, far between. 41 or 42 registered players on our server right now. Yeah. So that's like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is a lot of people. So I want to thank uh, Mr. Nubius421 for joining us in this video. I do appreciate it, sir. Happy to help. And I would also like to thank Miss Stephanie Marie421. It's like you guys know each other. You will have 421 <laughs> for a last name. Yeah. No mm. relation. No relation. Okay. Well, I would hope not. <laughs> Such a common last name, too. <laughs> yeah, totally. I would like to thank both of you guys for joining me in the video. I will have Steffi's information in the description down below. A uh, What's that thing called? Twitch and your YouTube as well. All right, guys. So Steffi's information will be down in the description down below. I really do appreciate both of you joining me for this build. Uh, it made it go by quite quickly. So I do appreciate Happy it, guys. Happy to help. Happy to help. All right, and I'm your boy John from Poopla. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button for more. Subscribe if you have not already done so. And as always, toodles.